With less than six months to go before voters decide the 2024 election, CBS News and CBS News Miami teamed up to poll Florida voters about their feelings on the issues. And we asked about everything from presidential politics to abortion, marijuana, the economy, and also how Floridians really feel about living here. CBS News Miami's Jim DeFeedy joins us. So, Jim, uh, what's the answer? How do they feel about living here? <laughs> Look, and the, let's first, why are we asking a question like this? Because, you know, when you feel good about the way things are going, if you think that life is going well, you're more likely to sort of keep the government that you currently have. If you feel things are going in the wrong direction, you're more open for a change. So that was one of the reasons we asked this question. And we can show you the response that we got when we asked, you know, in the time that you lived here in Florida, do you feel that Florida has generally changed for the better, changed for the worse or not changed? 57% believe that Florida has changed for the worse. Mm. So you get this feeling along with some of the economic questions we've been talking about that they don't feel their life is doing well here financially and that life overall is not better for them here in Florida. All right, so we see how they feel about themselves living here, but what do they think about the people who are coming to be their neighbors and they're well, moving here to South Florida, transplants and immigrants? We gotta blame somebody, <laughs> you know, if things are going bad, so you always blame the other. So one of the things that is really fascinating to me and one of the things that that is always a number that sticks in my head is in Florida for the last few years a thousand people a day move into Florida wow. a thousand people a day are been moving into Florida pretty much from the pandemic on so how do Floridians feel about all these new arrivals well let's take a look you know in your view in recent years have Americans moving to Florida from other states made life in Florida better worse or had no impact better 10% Worse, 60%. No impact, 30%. So 60% of Floridians feel that these folks coming from other states, whether it's California or New York or wherever they're coming from, made it worse. Now let's go to the immigration, because Lauren, you raised an interesting point. So that's how they feel about Americans moving from other parts of the country. How do they feel about folks who have moved, immigrated here from Mexico and Latin America in recent years? How have they made the Florida? 16% believe that the immigrants coming from Latin America and Mexico have made Florida better. 46% believe that they've made it worse. 38% had no impact. And I will give you one more statistic from inside the numbers, because I like to drill into the cross tabs. I'm a nerd that way. 46% of Hispanics think that Latin Americans and Mexicans who have moved here in recent years have made Florida worse. How do you explain that considering that so many immigrants live here? It's, it's a little bit of that feeling, and we've seen it here for a long time. You know, the folks who arrived from Cuba in the, in the early 60s, you know, had a negative view of Mariolitos. And the Mariolitos got settled in, and then they had a bad view of the Balseros. And then the Balseros settled in, and then now we have a bad view of folks who come from Latin America. In part, it's the, I got mine, I'm good with what I've got pull the drawbridge up behind me, whether it's people coming from New York or people coming from Central America. We don't need any more people. That's the sentiment in this poll. Wow. We'll see how it all shakes out come election time, how these numbers turn into mm -hmm. results in November. Absolutely. Thanks, right. Jim. Jim DeFitti, thank you. And